able to function in society. Gail's right. We've got to go with our original decision. Hi. Hi. Glad we could get together uh, regarding Greg. I think he can be discharged as long as he stays in touch with me. What about Frisco? Well, we decided at lunch we think he shouldn't be released. The headaches have persisted, and though we had a good meeting this morning, I mean, I'm just not sure whether or not the origins are psychological yet. Oh, Frisco. Oh, better. 100%. Charming. And I appreciate you coming by. You know the way out, right? Right. When I'm ready to go. What the hell do you want? What's best for both of us? <sighs> Always thinking of me, Steph. I'm touched. You know how I feel about you. Only too well. You know I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. I'm only trying to help. Well, then do me a favor and don't do me any more favors, all right? Just leave me alone. Sorry. Boss is ordered. Hasn't he had enough already? Corelli's just getting warmed up. <sighs> You're a real comfort, you know that? Come on, Frisco, what did you think? Did you think he was going to let you just sort of ride off into the sunset? Yeah, well, the thought did cross my mind. Well, forget it. Why do you think he's putting the bill for all this? Out of the kindness of his heart, right? You know, at first I thought that I should do it, but then, then I figured, why not? He's responsible for me being here. Let him pay. That's right. He's a businessman. And he expects to return his investment. And I'm it. Hmm? So, uh, what happened to your roommate? He was discharged. Oh, good for him. You're next. Not if I can help it. What are you talking about? He'll be out of here in no time. This is an excellent hospital. And I'm sure they're taking the best care of you. Just a little more speech therapy, and your singing voice will be back to its old self. Nothing would make Pirelli happier. Orderly, come. Give me the number for General Hospital. You're wasting your time. No, I'm not. It would be a crime for you to give up singing. No, the crime would be what happens to me after I do. You've got a superb voice. Well, no thanks to Pirelli's goons. Listen, I've dealt with critics before. These guys were kind of tough. Do you think you could be serious for a minute? Not unless I have to. You could be the hottest thing since Michael Jackson. If I could only dance. Don't you want to be a star? Do I have a choice? You have an opinion. For what it's worth. It matters to me. I don't want it this way. What way? Pirelli's way, your way. Oh, so you're just going to let your career go off, right? No. No, I'm not going to let it Great. go off. Great, then we have no I'm going to get on the fastest jet I can find. It wouldn't help. What do you mean by that? I mean we're not going to let you go. Oh. Well, so much for the soft sell, huh? Whatever works. Yeah, I guess the next part is no more Mr. Nice Guy, huh? I should think we'd already made that point. Oh. Aren't you even gonna... Aren't you gonna threaten me? Me? Of course not. How about a warning, then? No, I would call it more like good advice. Why don't you call it a day, Steph? Look, I got a lot of important things to do around here, you know? Like, count the cracks in the walls or... You were lucky my the first time. Listen, I like gangster talk as much as the next guy, but this is kind of pitiful, you know? I mean, I can barely keep a straight face. You know, Pirelli didn't want you hurt the first time. And look what happened to you. It is tough finding good help nowadays. Too bad the guy didn't do it by himself. I would have loved him to try. It's not his style. No. He's much too straight for that kind of thing, huh? He has to buy his own courage. The point I'm making is, can you imagine what would happen to you if Pirelli really wanted you harm? Oh, now, why would Pirelli ever want to do something like that? If you leave Pirelli, he's going to come after you. And then he's going to mean it. And believe me, it's going to be far uglier the next time. Excuse me, I'm uh, Mr. Jones' doctor, and I need to examine him. Um, would you mind leaving us alone for a minute? Oh, no, not at all. I I'll wait outside. 
Frisco, please think about what I said to you, and we'll discuss this further. She turned around, huh? Is that what they teach you in med school, Doc? So what's going on? Nothing. Are you in some kind of trouble? You're the doctor. You tell me. Andy, please, I want to help. Who asked you? I'm asking you. What are you up to? Minding my own business. You should try it. Who was the woman? A visitor. Yeah, you get a lot of visitors like that, huh? No. No, I don't. Not like that. She's definitely one of a kind. Mm-hmm. She certainly seemed fond of you. Oh, you noticed? Yeah. Why was she threatening you? I, I wouldn't sign an autograph for her, Andy. It's amazing what some girls would do to get my name on a piece of paper. You wouldn't believe it. Why won't you tell me? What's wrong? <sighs> Look, you said you wanted to examine me, right? Mostly to get her out of the room. Well, it worked, so examine. Here. You know, I'm not until you tell me what hold that woman has over you. Um, I think they call it a full Nelson, although I'm not really into wrestling. Why was she talking about your getting harmed and who is Pirelli? Her boyfriend. Big, mean dude. He saw my picture on her wall, autographed. He didn't take it so kindly, you know. It's really put a damper on things. Yeah, how long are you going to play these games with me? As long as you keep asking for it. You know me. You know I can go on for days. All right. Now listen, you want to examine me? Fine, let's keep the personal life on the side, okay? Oh, sure. Except I don't need to examine you. But I thought you said... No. I already know that there's nothing wrong with you. So what are you going to do? Oh, sign your walking papers. What? You heard me. As of this afternoon, you're discharged. No. Oh, yeah. Have fun in the real world, little boy. No, Anthony, I don't have time for your games. I... Now, look, I have other patients to see. I can't be discharged. Why not? I don't want to leave. <laughs> That's not good enough. No, I can't leave. Don't you see, man? I'm scared. Of that woman? No. No, the boss. I can handle her. So she works for Pirelli. We both do. Pirelli owns my contract. I wouldn't sing for it. I wind up here. The next time I might not be so lucky. That's what she was here reminding me of. Now this Pirelli, he'd do, really do something to hold you. Well, he, he did before. That's serious. There's a lot of money involved. Some men have a tendency to bear down. So what do you want to do? Save my neck, for starters, by staying here. Well, unless I find some better idea, listen, I can't go back to New York with Pirelli. I can't. I can't blame you for that. If you discharge me, I'll have no other choice. Well, maybe I should examine you again. Why? What would that do? Oh, you never know. You might not be as healthy as I thought you were. You know, you know I might not. Um... I could come up with a few more headaches to try to convince you, maybe? Just leave the medical side to me. I appreciate it. It's like old times, isn't it? When we were younger, and I was always getting my little brother out of trouble. <laughs> yeah, kind of seems like yesterday, big brother. Would you please page Tanya Roscoff for me? Yeah. Thank you.
Blackie and the Riff Raff with Make Me Believe It. I guess they're just calling themselves the Riff Raff now since they lost Blackie. But they still have one of the best singers around for my money, Frisco Jones. What a voice. Almost as uh, smooth as mine. Just kidding, Frisco. If you're listening, I want you to know you've got a bunch of fans out there in TV land, me included, who can't wait for you to get back into action. Don't let us down, pal. And now... Me? How much did you have to pay that guy? Not a cent. They love you, Frisco. They'll get over it. Not if I can help it. Just find yourself another cover boy, okay? There's tons of them out there. Not like you. You owe it to your fans to come back to Pirelli. Do you think that my fans care who owns my contract? They care about your career going straight to the top, and so do I. No one else can do that for you. Come on, rejoin Pirelli's team. It's where you belong. Well, unfortunately, the only place Mr. Jones belongs right now is in the hospital. <clears throat> what? Is there something wrong? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. But I can assure you, as his doctor, under no circumstances will I allow him to be released at this time. Well, how long is he going to be here? It's hard to say. Probably several weeks. What? You do want him to get well, don't you? Well, well, of course I do. It's just, just well, you're the doctor, you know best. As far as this patient is concerned. Well, I'll be back to see you, okay? You just take care of yourself. Well, I don't have to do that. I got the pros here. They'll do it for me. I'll be back in a couple weeks to check on you. Okay. Tell the big man I said hi. Oh, I will. He asks about you all the time. Oh. Tell him I'm doing fine. Thanks. It's only a temporary measure, you know. I can't keep you in here forever. Yeah, don't remind me. Okay. That's the future. I'll worry about that the next time you try to discharge me. Okay? You won't have to. Oh, you know something I don't? Well, I'm going to take care of your present and your future. It's not your problem. No, I made it my problem. All you have to do is reconsider the past. What's that supposed to mean? Just think about all the good times that we had together before this mess happened. And then after you've thought about it, if you want to talk it over, just come see me. That's all I ask. Fair enough. I'll think about it. Mm -hmm.